Hey guys, Stephen here with Pearl Lemon Games, and I'm here to show you how you can redock your uh, explorer or the properties, and some some kind of uh, some tips to help you if you're if you want to like um, adjust it to your own preference. So let's go. So of course, uh, by default, we're using the default Roblox, which or default Roblox Studio, which is has the properties and the explorer. And if you don't if you can't find your explorer in properties just go to view and just click on the explorer make sure it's highlighted and by default this two should be together so let's say you accidentally drag your properties there and you just want to go back to the usual and by default one you could just drag it down here also you notice that there's like a cursor like thing that's have uh, that you're getting this this is you can hover it to your mouse and you can get the position uh, of the explorer in the properties or whatever you are tracking so if I hover this inside the explorer I should be able to see that cursor inside the explorer so let's try see uh, so it's there if I go it on the middle it's gonna merge with explorer and it's gonna be like this so I can click on explorer in properties but if you don't want it to be like that just just drag that out and if you notice I just made a mistake which is I wasn't really able to drag it out so if you want to go back go get it back right on the right side you can either drag it far from here or you can uh, you can honestly just choose it here this is a bit hard if you drag it right here like there's some seat sweet spot right here where you can like figure out how how it would fit here but I just find honestly this cursor to be useful if I want to get it back on the spot so just click that there and just drag your explorer in properties are back here and then go right back and go right back there you can also uh, preferably or my personal choice is to use this kind of setup let's see I'm gonna go no it's and my the properties on the right and my explorer on the left personally I find this helpful on my side because for explorer or if I want to click on anything on the world I'll just go left and uh, properties on the right then I would have my output on uh, below so that that same stuff I still have like a lot of view on my end and pretty much I can make it still square because uh, I find it quite a bit hard when I make it like this which is my eyes kind of strain a bit oh, just looking well that's just preference I just want it to be center so I hope you learned something on this video and if you do press that like button and we do upload regularly so make sure to subscribe to our channel if you have any question if or if you want to know something about roblox studio comment down below and we'll make a tutorial out of it catch you on another video bye bye